Kevin? What are you looking at? Well, this is a propane powered forge. A friend of mine gave this to me a while back. He said, you know, I built, you know, maybe a half a dozen of these things and every one of them worked just fine, except for this one. Let's take it apart. Let's figure out what's wrong with it. And that's really what I want to talk with you guys about today is how do you diagnose something that you have no experience with? You don't know how it runs. You've never used one. Heck, you've never even been close to one. And really these principles, you know, these ideas, you can use them to diagnose just about anything. If you've got a problem with something, you know, just try these steps and see if it doesn't work out good for you guys too. So really the first thing you need to figure out is, all right, what have you got? What have you got to work with here? So, all right, we know it's a propane powered forge. We know this is the forge part. This is what's going to get hot. So we know the burners are going to be up in this area because that's where the hose comes in from your propane tank. So there's got to be a nozzle, a burner, just something up there that's going to squirt propane somehow. You know, that's, it's got to be up in that area somewhere. So now we've got a pair of hoses here and they're hooked into this T that's hooked into the valve that hooks into the hose. And then of course hooked to the other end of the hose is the pressure regulator with the fitting on it to hook into a propane bottle. So that's it. That's really basically all the parts there are you know, to this machine that actually work. So how could you figure out where the problem is? We know he said one burner was working. It seemed like the other one didn't want to didn't want to burn right. He had a nice blue flame out of one and every now and again a yellow flame out of the other. Well, that's a clue right there. Really the first thing you do is you have to eliminate the things that you know are working to be able to narrow it down to the things that you don't know or aren't working. So first thing I did, let's disconnect this hose from here and hook this thing up to a propane bottle and put a little gas to it. It was a brand new regulator that I put on, so I was fairly certain that worked. I pulled the connection off right here, off of the shutoff valve, had the regulator hooked up to the propane bottle, open the valve on the propane bottle, turn in the knob on the regulator, and you can hear gas coming out. So shut all that back off, hook all, hook all that back up again. The problem's obviously not from here down. So if that basically un eliminates the whole front half of the system, you know that's working. You know gas is getting up at least to this, this fitting right here. Well, let's keep it all hooked up to the propane tank, and I'll just take these set screws out right here, there's one down there, that are holding what would appear to be a nozzle inside these fittings. And as soon as I pull these out, now I can go ahead and play with my regulator a little, give it a little bit of pressure, and sniff on both of these when they're out here. Am I getting propane out of both of them? Yeah, I am. Okay, so all of that now works. Put all that back, you know, turn the valve off, put all that back together and figure, well, it's got to be somewhere between here and there. Hey, what the heck? From here to here, this is just a piece of pipe or, you know, several pieces of pipe and fittings. They're not going to break, you know, they're, they're steel. So, all right, put it together, fire it up. Now what do I have? I have a nice bright blue flame coming out of, hello, this hole over here on this nozzle, this burner right here. But on this one over here, it's kind of yellow. You know, it's not, it's not very big. You well, know, it's not working right. And if you stand back on this side, you can smell raw propane. All right, get a piece of steel, put a piece of steel in between these two. Sniff over here, no smell. Sniff over here, now I have a smell. Hmm, all right, we're narrowing in on it. The problem has to be somewhere in this pipe, in this section right in here. But get this out, get this fitting off, look down inside there and find a wasp's nest. Get a piece of uh, coat hanger, poke, poke, poke down through there, you know, break it all out, get all the, the junk out of there. Now they're both bright blue. They both burn with equal intensity and it works a whole lot better now. So hopefully that'll help light a fire under you to go out there and figure out what's going wrong with whatever it is that you happen to have. So I'm going to get back to work with this one and you guys are going to reach down and hit that subscribe button for me and I'll see you next time. So how do you figure out a solution to a problem if you don't know what it is.